Hello one and all and once again welcome to Pankaj Sir's Echelon Tutorials and uh, this is uh, in continuation with uh, exercise 9 that we were doing. I think we had already solved a question up to 10. Okay. And now we are going to start with uh, question number 11. Okay. So this is exercise 9 and we are on to question number 11. Question number 11 says it is 7a minus a 7a square plus a 7 okay now you have to simplify this as far as possible okay now here you can see there's none of these terms are like terms okay but then all these terms have a something common in their coefficients isn't it see 7a has a coefficient as 7 a square seven, minus 7a square term has a coefficient again 7 and this constant term also is 7. So all of them have a common factor which is 7. So I'll take that 7 out and I'll put a bracket. Now from first term when 7 goes out, I'll be left with an a. From the second term when 7 goes out, I'll be left with a minus a square. And from the third term when 7 goes out, I'll be left with a 1. Okay, plus 1. So 7 into a minus a square plus 1 is what I will get as the simplified form. Okay. Now, as I told you again and again, I'm telling you this can be further uh, simplified by factorizing. But since we are not yet entered into that factorization, okay. So our answer, we are going to leave it as it is uh, given here. Okay. That is 7 bracket a minus a square plus 1. Let me check the answer for exercise 9, question number 11. The answer is 7 plus 7a minus 7a square. Okay. So he has kept the answer as it is, but I have at least done one thing. I have taken a 7 common out of it. Okay. Fine. So that was question number 11. Now coming to question number 12. Question number 12 says that, uh, yeah, uh, it's uh, x square plus 3x square minus 4x square plus 5x. Okay, now here I can see a lot of like terms. Okay, now for instance, this x square, this 3x square and minus 4x square, all these three are like terms, you know. Why they are like terms? Because apart from the coefficients, rest of the things in the terms are same. See, you have a x square, but the coefficient is 1. Here you have a x square, but the coefficient is 3. Here you have a x square, but the coefficient is minus 4. So apart from the coefficient, the other things are same. So these are like terms. Okay. So these like terms can be reduced. They can be simplified. How? This is 1 plus 3 will be 4. So 4 x square minus this 4x square plus 5x okay now again i'm left with two like terms 4x square minus 4x square now 4x square minus 4x square will be zero because 4 minus 4 is zero so it will be 0x square and 0 into x square will again be zero so this will end up with 0 plus a 5x so my final answer will be 0 plus 5x that is 5x that's it okay so question number 12 the answer the simplified form should be uh, 5x, okay? And that's perfectly correct. Now coming to question number 30. Okay, question number 30. Our 13th question is 3 by A plus B plus 7 upon A minus a 2B. Okay. Now here, what can be done? Okay. Now, can you see this uh, uh, B and this minus 2B? These are like terms. Okay. So, this can be simplified. This can be reduced. So, plus 1 minus 2. Plus 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So, this will be minus 1B. Right. So, that is the simplified form of these two. Now, here you can see 3 upon A plus 7 upon A. Isn't it? 3 upon A plus 7 upon A. Now, this these are also like terms okay because uh, you can see that uh, that a you know now uh, now this can be written in this way also okay if you want this can be written as 3 a raised to uh, minus 1 okay 
plus 7 a raised to minus 1 okay plus b and minus 2 b okay see this a with the power 1 i have taken up okay in the numerator so the power will become negative so if it was a raised to 1 it has become a raised to minus 1 same i did over here 7 upon a can be written as 7 a raised to minus 1 now if you see these two are like terms okay a raised to minus 1 a raised to minus 1 these are like terms and the coefficients are 7 plus 3 okay so 3 and 7 you can add up to make it 10 and a raised to minus 1 okay and this minus 1 b2 i told you how to got okay these are again like terms so plus 1 minus 2 will be minus 1 so it will be minus 1 b so this is the answer now this can be written as 10 upon this a raised to minus 1 again i'll write in this form so i'll bring that a raised to minus 1 in the denominator to make that minus 1 again plus 1 okay so 10 upon a minus 1 b no need of writing that one so it is just minus b so this has to be your answer for the 13th question okay let me check what is the answer given in the book behind and for the 13th one the answer is 10 upon a minus a b which is what we got okay so that was question number 13 let us move on to question number 14. Okay, 14th question says it's a 4 upon x minus a 7 upon y plus a 1 upon x plus a 2 upon y. Okay. Now, here you will be able to see that uh, this and this are like terms. Okay. And again, this and this are also like terms. Okay. Now, first let me rewrite it. Now, 4 upon x can be written as 4 I am keeping in the numerator. This x raised to 1, I will take in the numerator. So, it will become x raised to minus 1. Okay. 4 upon x can be written as 4 x raised to minus 1. So, remember these rules. The simple uh, mathematical, uh, you know, you can say the grammar of mathematics. Okay. You should uh, uh, understand and you should uh, know how to use it in future. Okay. So, this is uh, actually, this is for the, as I told, keep on telling you, this particular session I have dedicated for those uh, basic uh, learners, okay? The, those who want to learn the basic mathematics, those who are uh, in the 6th and 7th grade, you know, for them, this particular mathematics is very, very important. So, they, this exercise is the solution of this exercise is going to give them a very good uh, practice of all these, you know, simple things that we are using in mathematics, okay? So slowly, steadily, this all should go into your blood. Okay, it should be a part of your system. So as I told you, 4 upon x can be written as 4 into x is to minus 1. Minus 7 upon y can be written as 7, y is to minus 1. Now what is happening here is something from the denominator I am taking in the numerator. So whenever you take, you know, something from numerator to the denominator or denominator to the numerator, then the power ka jo sign hota hai, that is changing. So here in the denominator, it was x raised to 1. So when you take it in the numerator, it becomes x raised to minus 1. Simple as that. Same thing happens with this y. It will become y raised to minus 1. Same thing will happen here. It will become 1 x raised to minus 1. Same thing will happen here. 2 y raised to minus 1. Can you see that? Okay. Now, once this is arranged in this way, now it is very easy for you to identify the like terms. Now, this is the like, this is a pair of like term, okay? X is to minus 1, X is to minus 1. This is a pair of like term. Now, the coefficients are for X is to minus 1, the coefficients are 4 and 1, okay? So, when you add them up, it will give a 4 plus 1, 5. So, 5 X is to minus 1 can be written, okay? And here you find another pair of uh, like terms with coefficient minus 7 and plus 2. So, minus 7 plus 2 will work out to minus 5. Okay. But then, you will you'll have to write this term y raised to minus 1. Fine. Now, from these two terms, what I can do is, uh, I can do one, two things. First is, I can remove common out. That 5 is a common coefficient for both the terms that I will remove out. So, 5 when it is out, I will be left with x is to minus 1, minus y is to minus 1. One more thing I can do is, after removing phi out, this x is to minus 1, I will rewrite it as 1 upon x, and this y is to minus 1, and I will rewrite it as 1 upon y. So my final answer should be 5 bracket 1 upon x minus 1 upon y. Okay? 
So that was question number 13. Now let us move on to question number 14. For that, I'll have to bring this down. It's enough. So now coming to question number 14. Okay. So 14th question. Uh, sorry, 14th we did. Now we are on to 15th, right? Let me check. Yeah. No, 13th we did. Okay. What was it? Oh, oh. There's some blunder. Okay. 13th, uh, yeah, 14th we did over here. So this is 15th. Okay. So this one is 15th. Uh, question number 15 says that m upon x plus 2m upon x, you have to simplify this. Okay. Now, this happens to be two fractions, and both the fractions are having the same denominator. So, what I will do is something called uh, using LCM and making these two fractions into one fraction. Okay. So this is this is a addition of two fractions. You can see this one fraction, second fraction, and be, in between them you can see that plus sign. So this is addition of two different fractions. So I'm going to make them into one fraction. So for that, you know what I'll do? Because the denominator is same, the LCM will be x. Okay, the same thing. Now this x multiplied by what will give you this x? So this x multiplied by one will give me this x. Okay, so that one. I'm going to multiply with this m. So it will become m into x, m into y. That is nothing but m. Okay, m into y. Understood what I did? Okay. Then I'll put this plus sign over here. Now this x multiplied by what will give you this x? So my answer is multiplied by one will give me this x. Okay, x multiplied by one will be x. Now this one, I'm going to take and multiply with this 2m. So 1 into 2m will be 2m, right? Now, see, this uh, uh, two fractions are converted into a single fraction by this one single division line, okay? So this works out to m into 1 is m plus 2m upon a x. Now 2m plus m being like terms, you can add them up to make it 3m. So this will be 3m upon x. So you have simplified this 15th question to 3m upon x. Okay. Now coming to the 16th question. The 16th question says that you have to simplify 5 upon x minus a 7 upon x plus a 1 upon 2. Okay. Now here again what I'm going to use is, uh, now there are so many ways in which this can be done. Okay. So now, uh, instead of taking this x on the top, you know, let me do one thing. What I can do is, I'll take the LCM. Okay, now these are three fractions. Okay, this is one fraction, this is second, and this is the third fraction. And these three fractions, either you have to add them or subtract, because you have a minus and a plus sign in between them. So when you want to add or subtract a number of fractions, you always use the LCM method, okay? So I'll draw one line like this, and I'll take the LCM of x, x, and 2. So the LCM of x and x is x only, and 2 and x calcium will be 2x, right? Now what I'll do, I'll take the first fraction, I'll take the denominator of that fraction, x into how much is 2x? My answer is x into 2 is 2x. This 2, I'm going to take and multiply with this 5. So 5 to the 10 will get, I'll get, okay? So that I'm writing here. Now, I'll take this x and do the same thing. x into how much is 2x? My answer is x into 2 is 2x. Okay. So, I'll take this 2 again and multiply with this minus 7. So, it will become 2 into minus 7 is minus 14. Now, 2 into how much is 2x? 2 into how much is 2x? My question is 2 into how much is 2x? This time, my answer will be 2 into x is 2x. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll take this x and multiply with this y. So I'll get x into 1, that is x. Understood? So this has reduced to 10 minus 14, which is a minus 4, plus a x upon 2x. Got it? 
Now this is somewhat simplified, but I can still further go and do splitting. Splitting is what? Suppose I have A plus B upon C. I can split it into A upon C plus B upon C. This is known as splitting. This is just the opposite of LCM. Okay. So this I can split this way. Minus 4 upon 2x plus x upon 2x. Right. Now this minus 4 upon 2x may this 2 and 4 will cut. And I will get a 2 on the top. So minus 2 upon x I will get. And here x and x will cut. And I will get 1 upon 2. So my final answer should be minus 2 upon x plus 1 upon 2. This is how you simplify it. Okay. So this is one way of simplifying. Now I used LCM. But uh, okay. Now I'll show you another way of doing it. Okay. The same answer. We'll end up with the same answer. Okay. So this is the answer that we got. Now let us see the second approach. Suppose the question is 5 upon x minus a 7 upon x plus 1 upon 2. Right. Now, this can be written as 5. Now, this x, you know, I'll take on the top. So, it will be the x is to minus 1. So, 5x is to minus 1, minus 7x is to minus 1, plus 1 by 2. Okay? Now, can you see these two uh, happens to be like terms because of this x minus 1, which you can see same in both the terms. And the coefficients are plus 5 and minus 7. So, plus 5 and minus 7 will club up to minus 2. And I write x is to minus 1. Okay. Then plus 1 by 2. Fine. So this can be rewritten as minus 2. Now this x is to minus 1. I will bring it in the denominator. So it will become x is to 1. That is x. Plus 1 by 2. Can you see the same answer that I got over here? Okay. I am getting here also. Okay. Only thing, my, thing is the approach was slightly different. Okay. So, this proves, okay, this particular 16th number ka sum, I have done with two different methods. In one method, I have used uh, the LCM, okay, and I got the answer as minus 2 upon x plus 1 upon 2. In second method, I have not used LCM, but I used something else, okay. So, these are the grammars of mathematics which you should know that it works, okay. So, whether you do this way or this way, you are getting the same answer that clearly tells you that Whatever grammar we are understanding, whatever rules of mathematics we are applying are absolutely correct. Because if the rules were wrong, okay, if there was something wrong in applying these rules, okay, then the answer would have been different for the same question. Okay. So anyways, that is what I want to say. Try to understand what are the rules, what are the uh, little, little uh, things, you know, I am using in mathematics. That you should understand, okay? And this you should keep on using it, okay? So, that was question number 16. Let us go to question number 17. For that, make some space. Yeah. So, question number 17. Now, what is question number 17 saying? It's uh, 3 upon A plus a B plus 2 upon a plus a 2b, isn't it? So this is a, a 1, 2, 3, 4 terms ka expression and you want to simplify. Simplify means make it smaller, okay? Simple, right. Now this if you want to convert it in this way, 3 upon a can be written as 3a raised to minus 1 plus b I am keeping as it is. Plus 2 upon a can, I, can be written as 2a raised to minus 1. This 2b I am keeping as it is. Now this b and 2b happens to be like terms. So when you add them up, 1b plus 2b will be 3b. So that is sorted out. And this is 3a raised to minus 1 and plus 2a raised to minus 1. These are also like terms. Coefficients are plus 3 and plus 2. So it will work out to 5a raised to minus 1. And a plus over here. Okay. So my final answer is... 5 upon a plus 3b. Understood this? Okay. This was a better way of uh, uh, doing things, right? Now, again, this could have been done in the other way using LCM and all that. But then every sum I'm not going to do in, uh, you know, different ways. But you should understand that uh, there are many ways of doing the same 
uh, problem and getting the same answer. Okay, fine. Let us move on to the 18th one. Question number 18 is n upon a 4 minus m upon a 3 uh, minus n upon a 2 and plus m upon a 3. Now, don't get tempted to, you know, understand this in a wrong way or in a different way. Okay, now can you see in the denominators you have numbers? Okay, here in the denominators you had variables A. Okay, so here you cannot think of taking this 4 on the top, taking, taking this 3 on the top, taking this 2 on the top. No, it doesn't work that way. Okay, so here what you will do, you will find the LCM of this 4, 3, 2 and 3. The LCM of 3 and 3 is 3. Okay, and LCM of this 2 and 4 happens to be 4. And LCM of 4 and 3 is nothing but 12. So LCM of all this 4, 3, 2 and 3 will be equal to 12. So I'm writing the 12 over here. Okay. Then I'll take the first fraction. I'll take the denominator of that first fraction. And I ask the question 4 into how much is 12? And the answer that I get is 3. That 3 I'm going to multiply with this n. And I'm going to get 3n. Next, this 3. 3 into how much is 12? 3 into 4 is 12. That 4 I'm going to multiply with this minus m that is going to make it minus 4m then 2 into how much is 12 2 into 6 is 12 so 6 i am going to multiply with this minus n so it is going to make it minus 6n 3 into how much is 12 3 into 4 is 12 so 4 i am going to take and multiply with this m so it will it is going to make it 4m this is how it is working now in the numerator you can see that these two are the like terms okay so 3n minus 6n, these two are like terms. So you can make it into a single term. So 3 minus 6 is minus 3. So minus 3n will be the single term. Again, these two you can see minus 4m and plus 4m. These are two same terms with opposite sign. So when two same terms you have with opposite sign, they will clap up to make a 0. So plus 0 you can write here upon a 12. So your final answer will be minus 3n upon a 12. And this 3 and 12 can be reduced. 3, 4s are 12. So your final answer is minus n upon a 4. This is your answer. For question number 18. Is that understood? So let us do two more questions and wind up this video as well. Okay. So let us do the 19th one. 19th question says... Uh, 19th is okay. It says x cube plus 7x square minus 2x cube. Okay, this is the expression you want to simplify this. Now I can see this x cube and this 2x cube, these are like terms. Okay, the coefficient here is plus 1, the coefficient here is minus 2. So plus 1 minus 2 will be equal to minus 1. So I'll write here minus 1x cubed. And now I'm left with 7x squared. So plus 7x squared. Now nothing else can be done here because these are two different uh, terms. Okay. This is x cubed term. This is x squared term. So nothing can be done. And nothing is common in the coefficient as well. But one thing let me tell you. This, you know, this type of expression can be you know, written in a swapped way. Okay, now see, this is minus A plus a B. Minus A plus B can always be written as B minus A. Remember that. Minus A plus B can always be written as a B minus A. Okay, minus A plus B. Now, there's a plus over here. Okay, addition is always commutative. Commutative means the two numbers on the either side of the plus can be interchanged. Okay, so nothing goes wrong. So I'll take this b over here. So I've brought b over here, and minus a I'm bringing here. So minus a is over here. Okay. In fact, it should be b plus a minus a, and then it should become b minus a. Okay. So same way, this minus x cube plus seven x square can be written as seven x square first. And minus x cubes next. Okay. So behind the book, either the answer will be this or this. And in both the cases, the answers are correct. So here, one more thing, uh, one more rule in mathematics I 
try to make you understand okay and that is this okay minus a plus b can always be written as b minus a okay now the last question of today's is question number 20 and it says 2x the whole square minus 2x square okay now this you want to simplify okay now this is 2x the whole square and this is 2x square see that while reading also uh, uh, it sounds different this is 2x whole square i'm saying and this is minus 2x square okay now in this you know what can be done is first you'll have to uh you know this square you'll have to uh, complete this operation so 2 ka square will be 4 and x ka square will be x square so it will become 4x square now what i did you know i have removed this bracket to remove the bracket i have to square this 2 to make it 4 and i have to square this x to make it x square then only i can remove the bracket so now it has become 4x square and I have 2x square, which is as it is. I'm keeping as it is. Can you see? Now, can you see these two are the same terms? Okay. It is these two are uh, same terms because they are both having x square. Okay. So, coefficient is plus 4 and minus 2. Plus 4 minus 2 will be 2. So, the answer will be 2x square. So, 20th the simplified form will be 2x square. So, with this question number 20 being solved, I'm ending this today's video and uh, we are uh, done with uh, 20 questions from this exercise 9. So in the next video, we are going to continue from question number 21. That's all for today. Goodbye. Take care all of you.